Welcome back to more of the original Wii Sports. As promised at the end of the last video, I'm going to try out the old bowling version, because I swear this is a little different than the one we've been playing on Wii Sports Resort until now. And I have a theory, a, a game theory if you will, that I might be able to get a fair few strikes here. Now, uh, first things first, I'm just getting to the rhythm of this. This game isn't really going to matter. It is the second one where the spicy stuff is going to take place. Now, um, last... Nice well, it, it appears he's returned. Um, I, I need to explain the thought here, right? Basically, um, if you've watched any of our Wii Sports Resort Bowling videos, you know we generally like to land about here or here with our red line and throw straight and try and aim a bit left. Um, well, um, that originated about 12-ish years ago, like the last proper time I played this game. Um, basically, I was at someone's house, they had a copy of the game, and I just picked there out of, like, the blue, kind of went to figure things out, and I found they kept getting strikes. And, you know, we did it in Wii Sports Resort, it worked quite well. But it was on this version of the game. So my whole thing now is, what if I did just do the strategy, which I remember working super well on this version of the game, on this version of the game, now I have it. Now, of course, this is not going to be amazing. <laughs> Look at them doing their silly little spins. But that, that's kind of my general thought process. It's, this is probably going to run nice. a little bit more different compared to the Wii Sports Resort version. So we're going to see if we can bring the strat back from the dead. Because personally, I think that'd be kind of cool. Now, bada bing bada boom. We're not, we're not doing too amazingly. Again, as I said, this one's the warm-up one. I'm meant to get used to the controls. It surprisingly nice. does feel weird considering, you know... You'd think they'd just copy and paste it, but no, this is weird, you know, the scorecards are different, the UI is different, and, like, the, the way that you throw the ball, it, fe like, it feels more, like, slippery, like someone woke up in the programming department and was like, yeah, we'll cover this ball in bustle, why not? But, oh, ah, we need to pick up some more speed there, but, not too bad of a game, in fact, we might end up breaking, like, 150, which, I won't complain, 150 is a pretty good score in bowling. Like, we have been getting a fair few spares, it's just, it's just the rest. So come on, make it work, make it work. It did not make it work. Like, you see what I mean? Um, if you've come from the Wii, if you've come from, like, watching the Wii Sports videos on the, ch uh, resort videos on the channel, you know what I'm all about. Well, those pins just glue themselves to the floor. So like playing this on Mars and the gravity is slightly more intense, you know? Like, I don't, I don't exactly know how I feel about it, but, come on, give me another strike. Don't just leave me hanging on the one, you know? If I can figure out where that sweet spot is that I got that strike in, I think we're in for a good time. Because we had our strat that we tried for two videos on Resort, but this, this, this is literally a different game entirely. It's just pretending to be Wii Sports Resort, even though this came first. Oh, it's bound to happen eventually. Alright, can he get one of them? Can he go ahead and get one of them? He absolutely can. Oh, see the thing is if I go back to playing the Resorts bowling now, you just know, like, my throwing will be off because I get too used to this. Which I kind of find amusing in a way, so you know what? If that's the case, bring it on. And that... Nice I think that's it. I think that's it. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. So it, it was not on here. It was, in fact, like, here, more in the middle. Gives us a bit more room for leniency, and it hits exactly where I remember getting all the strikes. Nice throw. Okay. I'm not saying we're getting a perfect game, but what I am saying is that the strat may now be in use. Right at the end of the perfect uh, practice game is when it comes back into focus, fine by me. And of course, we're going to do it one more time for the homie DJ screw. Bada bing, bada boom. Nice throw. So that's a turkey. Do we get an extra one because it's round 10? I don't know. I don't know. But I think... I th oh, we do. Okay, the strat. The strat has been rediscovered, possibly. Again, it's all about remaining calm in moments like these. Case in point. I was not calm, so my, so my zen aura simply did not bring a strike to me. So yeah, slightly higher than I was expecting for the bleeding practice game, and ooh! So this is the original music from when you first, you know, finished playing Bullwing. I kind of like it, I like all the stuff going on in the background as well. It's, it's a nice vibe. And plus, oh wow, we were a fifth of the way to pro already. Huh. But we're gonna do that again, obviously. So, we discovered kind of a sweet spot-ish, and we just need to kind of like throw it decently straight but slightly to the left, hit it around there, and strikes may be forthcoming. You know, depends on the day of the week. If not, we get ourselves some spares. Are we going for a perfect game? No, that sounds like it drives me insane. So we're just gonna keep up with this, this whole charade. 
If we get strikes back to back to back, won't complain. If we get spares, also won't complain. New goal now. Reached. No, 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 no. Oh, no, I hate doing this. Th that little twisty thing? Never. I've never trusted it. It just doesn't feel right to me. I don't know what it is. Like, it's like, I could, I could aim straight. I don't need your curves. No, um, I need to throw a bit more straight. Because that, that, that was in, like, the perfect spot. And I just missed it. But again, another spare. Oh, spare. Getting those extra points either way. It's just, you know, um, not, not as, like, maximally efficient. But are we here to play maximally efficient? No, we're here to play and have fun. Another five. There's like a very specific area we seem to be hitting where, you know, um, it seems to be getting netting us a five. And that's our first thing that isn't a spare this recording. Just, you know, let that set in. It's like, I'm surprised this worked. I developed this strategy ten years ago, and the fact it's working modern day is kind of trippy to me. Nice you know, like, it's like, ooh. Oh, I'm not sure I like this. But I also do. Yeah, like 12 and a half years ago. I'm surprised I remembered it after all this time, but then again, it's like, I have the ability to show off in Wii Sports Bowling. Why wouldn't I go remembering that? <laughs> oh, I just also mentioned I'm recording this directly before I'm meant to go to work. It's like, hell yeah. Do, should I probably be doing more stuff to be ready for my shift? Maybe. Can I get back-to-back -back strikes in Wii Sports instead? Absolutely. Look at him go. Double. Probably not going to make it a turkey, but, you know, we can try. And that's uh, so we align it there, and we just try and keep it as straight as humanly possible. Well, it looks like we're having a roast dinner for tea tonight, doesn't it? Oh, okay. So we got one. So we got four more perspective things. We can possibly get seven in a row. I doubt we can get seven in a row, but hey, wishful thinking got many people different places. Didn't get me to mine though. <laughs> but can we get ourselves a spare? Oh, of course we can. Nice he may be a strike master in training, but at heart, he is still the spare master. It's like, I'm, I'm too good at getting spares, man, what can I say? Wish I was this good at bowling in real life, but hey. If I can be good at the virtual bowling, that's fine. Because more people are interested in my virtual bowling. Whereas the only people interested in my real life bowling are my friends and the guy behind the kiosk who's watching us and nice laughing spare. at how I can fuck up that badly. <laughs> uh, if you know, you know. Right, anyway, final shot. Can we make a strike to bring it home? Oh, he absolutely cannot. Oh, I've got the second best thing, which was a nine. Right, game finished. He beat our previous record by one point. We can do better. I know we can do better. If we got a spare on that fourth frame, that would have been it, but I'll take plus one, seven, five. This is good, this. We might accidentally go end up going pro next time we play this. So I we'll make a few videos on this. It feels, it feels different, you know. It feels different, but in in like the good way. It feels more nostalgic, even though it, like its base level is just the same game. And I don't know how to, like else to phrase it than that. It's just it's it's cool, you know. Like the not like again like the novelty of at least this series for me, the little mini series where we play the original instead of Result. It's just I haven't touched this game in like you know. Last video said ten years, didn't it? Um, no, when I made this strategy, genuinely was the last time I played Wii Sports. Because um, by that time, my copy was already broken. Um, I remember going out to theirs and thinking, Oh, I haven't played the original in ages! So, genuinely, um, yeah. Um, I know, it, it just feels cool. It just, it just, it just feels cool. It feels fun. Um, you know what would have been more fun if that pin decided to not be a stooge and get knocked down? Come on, you know you want it, you know you want it, he absolutely does want it. Nice. The Spare Master has returned to the building. Okay, I'm liking this, I'm liking this. Look at the little noise that plays when it, like, you know, it's meant to draw attention to the fact that it's your turn again. It's like, yeah, I am playing this alone, you don't need to tell me twice. I wasn't even looking away from the screen. Think I can talk other people into playing Wii Sports Bowling for YouTube with me? Nice spare. 10 likes, I'll do it. <laughs> yes, that, 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 that sure, guys, is like goal. 10 likes, I think, you know, and any other series on this channel, not particularly reasonable. But like, Tomodachi Life in this, 10 likes. 10 likes, and I will drag a friend to 1v1 me in bowling, and we will see who the master bowler is. You know? Nice, I think that is, I think that's a fair thing, you know? I'm sure, I'm sure one of them will be down to, like, come around and record. Um, do I have a second Wii Remote? Okay, well, and they cost like 20 pounds now, so hey, um, hit those 10 likes. I've got and buy a Wii Remote as well. God, it's all about getting value for your like. God damn.
How many other YouTubers go and buy out a whole Wii remote um, for hitting a like goal? Because <laughs> I got a figure manic. Anyway, can we do a thing? We cannot do the thing. You, I'm not, hopefully you see what I was going for. I was trying to roll it between them. Didn't work out particularly well, but meh, it is how it is. Now, oh, that feels good. That feels good. Oh, that was good. Again, sometimes, I don't know how to describe it. I get like a feeling in my wrist where it's like, oh, you threw that perfectly. And I, I just know like it's going to work out. I, I don't know how to describe it other than that, but it, it, it is a good feeling. Kind of had it then. It's kind of, you know, iffy. Now, of course, can we hit the turkey? If we hit the turkey, gives us a chance for uh, hitting a four. Come on. Oh, what was that, man? Spare master. That, that's just depressing, right? We can get this. So I bolt it here. Then... What? No! If, if that pin in front had gone directly back, that would have been one last spare. 177. Right, we got one more in us. And not just because we're halfway to being pro. It's like, I told you, I'm, I'm good at this. These used to be my stomping grounds before the disc got completely irreparably damaged. Um, for context on that, by the way, you may be wondering how the hell you're able to mess up the DVD that badly. Um, it's really simple. Um, the old house I used to live in when I was a kid um, had hardwood floors, like, everywhere. So the floors were just, like, um, wood that had, like, a protective sheen on it. So, me, being a four-year-old, would leave the discs on the floor, and either they'd get stood on, or I would just, like, I'd bat them around on the floor, because they'd move along it, like ice, like ice hockey pucks almost. And that's the story of how uh, my original Wii Sports copy is scratched to high hell. I mean, <laughs> it's certainly a story, isn't it? Ugh. God, though. I'm trying to think how many years ago that must have been. It's been 12 and a half since I last played this game, but it must have been even longer since I broke my disc. Like, oh. God, I feel my age is catching up to me. What can I say? Like, this video, this, this series is secretly me, a very old man who was 20, um, talking about how old he is. It's like, oh! Oh, nice it, even, it even played, like, the effect to show it hit there. Even the game was impressed with that one. Ugh. Oh. Yeah, I mean, what else was that was interesting? Um, I did end up breaking our original Wii, actually, which is quite interesting. Um, well, not interesting, really stupid. Basically, I think we wanted to play um, Mario Kart Wii. No, we wanted to play Wii Party, but Wii Party had also broken. Like, I was a bit better at looking after discs, but like by the point I got good at it, Wii Party was already, like, on its deathbed, you know? Um, but um, we wanted to play Wii Party. Oh, I think one of my friends or cousins was around. So I'm like, fine, I pop it in. It doesn't work. And I kind of knew it wouldn't. So I was like, oh, I'll wash it in the sink to get any dirt off. And then I did a really bad job at drying it. And we put it in, and shockingly, it still didn't work. You want to know what else we put in? Like, way too much water for our Wii's thing to handle. And it never read another disc again. <laughs> the end. Um, like, it still loaded up just fine. Just the disc drive was dead. Um, so we were able to get all our stuff off it and move it across. Um, but yeah, no, that was that was like one of those proper original Wii's. Had the GameCube ports in the top. Um, what else was there? Um, oh, it had all the channels on as well. I remember that. Um, like I just never downloaded them on the uh, replacement one we bought from CEX, which is really funny because I, I didn't quark that now. Yeah, no, the black Wii we bought afterwards. I bought from CEX, which was the same place I got the copy of this game from. <laughs> I tell you, CEX man, they are like one of Britain's best stores. They are the Complete Entertainment Exchange. I had no idea that's what their name actually stood for until yesterday. Um, out of interest. Um, yeah, I just thought it was funny, um, because it sounded like sex. And I would have not put it past nice. their upper management for that to be the entire reason they called the shop that. <laughs> I say, they're good. I think they used to be in America, but they shut down. Um, I don't know why. Maybe Americans are less fan of sex puns compared to us British people. But hey, they gave me a good deal on the game. 170. Ooh. See, I'm 15 minutes on the recording. Here we go again. We go again. We go again. Again, we're not even particularly getting strikes anymore. We're just kind of having a fun time, having a chat, aren't we? It's, it's kind of like what these are. It's like, okay, like, you can come and watch me play bowling. But also, I like to think most of the enjoyment in these videos is just myself. It's like, yeah, the bowling gameplay is fun and all, but it's like, look at me. I'm on the screen saying dumbass things. Nice. 
They've had some nice comments though. Again, this series has done like decently well since the start, but it's been done especially well as of late. I have had some really nice comments from a lot of people just saying they kind of really like this style of video. It's like I'm not I'm not playing just for the goal or whatnot. It's just it's kind of fun. It's chill. It's low key, um, which which is what I like. Um, next video I do on this is either going to be boxing or golf. Um, and I think golf will also be kind of in the same vein where it's like you know. We can enjoy it. Nice. I can talk about my memories playing the game growing up a little bit. You know, you guys can like have a little bit of a nostalgia trip in the comments. You know, I just think it, 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 it's a nice idea for a series. I know, I know I'm definitely not the first person to have done this. Do not get me wrong. Um, you guys in the comments have made damn well sure I know who Professor is now. Um, I've checked out a few of his videos. I think I'm slightly less insane. At least when it comes to bowling. Um, I've, everywhere, everywhere else the jury's still out. But yeah, no, you guys have a... It's like, I know I'm not the first guy to just suddenly decide, hey, I'm gonna play games that I played as a kid for YouTube. Well, the ones with a wider reach like this will be party, for example. But I like, I like to think I bring my own flair to it, you know? Now. Oh! Oh. Yeah, so if that was just the two of them, that would have been the sickest trick shot imaginable, but now I just feel sad inside. Come right, on, come on, we can do this. We can do this. That felt good, that felt good. Oh, the sixth sense was wrong, actually. That pin again. That pin is starting to be my arch rival. I'm starting to think someone gluing it down, you know? It's like, nah, ah, ah. I swear. You don't get to do that on my watch, son. Don't you dare. Anyway, can we make it? Oh, he absolutely can't. I tell you, there's a conspiracy with that fucker. I see you in all your 480p glory. Damn right you're gonna give me that spare. Again, not doing too bad on spares, but oh, that singular pin is really starting to get under my skin. And of course he's part of the ones that all stay up on this one too. Oh ho ho. I'm starting to think I did something to annoy that pin in like a past life, because I, th I think I, th I smell something fishy here. I, th I think that pin is out to get me. It's about to make sure I don't get another strike. Oh, <gasps> okay. It, it went. It went. It, right, it's, it's, it's not immune to being knocked down after all. It just needs the uh, right push. Really? I thought I put a spin on that. Well, final frame. If we do good enough... Not gonna go setting a new personal best, but at the very least, I will probably get a few more points towards being pro. Um, I remember I did go pro, like, around Christmas. I think the year after the Wii came out. And um, I remember being super, like, you know, hyped. In fact, I had a shiny ball. But then I went and purposely deranked because the ball felt, like, way more slippery. I don't know if that was an actual thing or just my kid brain being weird, but... Ah, um, maybe, if we keep playing good games like this, we may be able to test it. But I'm afraid that's all for now, so if you have enjoyed, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. It does all help out a bunch, lets me know that you want to see more of this, and all of that good stuff. Before we do another video on this, again, we're getting decently close to pro rank, need to play a little bit better, but I mean, yeah, we're getting pretty close to pro, we might need to play a tiny bit better to get ourselves over the finish line, but hey, we're gonna see at least another one, maybe two more videos on this, hit pro, see all the fun stuff that comes with that. Will we hit a perfect game? I don't know, maybe. If this video gets 50 likes, I will try my best. Oh uh, yeah, okay, I think that one is a bit too unreasonable, hey. You guys have never ended to surprise me, so you know, I doubt I'll stop now. And yeah, with all that said and all that aside, thanks for watching guys, my name's been Remick and peace, out.